so now we're gonna set up Redux and we're gonna have a global saw. And you know, it's kind of one of the easiest thing, but people, you know, think it's hard or something like very complicated. But actually having React Redux is simply one of the easiest thing and the simplest thing ever, okay? So it's gonna help us create a store. So we're gonna have a global state that's, you know, applicable across all of our application and our pages and our components, okay? So simply we're gonna have a store. Okay, so this is gonna be our source. Our store. And in this store we're gonna have some reducers. For example, we're gonna have the user, for example, you can have products, you can have anything that is here, counter, anything. So our store holds a lot of reducers. And all of these reducers have a state. For example, the user. Okay, so let's work only with the user. We have a user reducer in the store. The def for example, the default state is gonna be null. Okay. And what we do when we work on our application, we can dispatch an action and change you know the informations the user so for example like when we work when we log in okay before we log in in the store we're gonna have a user reducer the user is gonna be null this is the default state and when we log in we're gonna go and dispatch an action that's all he's gonna do is gonna take the user that's gonna be null and then fulfill it with the informations that we want so simply like when we like we're in the login so before we log in it's gonna be null then and we log in like this and this is the informations that we get after login so we want to take this informations and then dispatch it and put it inside this the reducer so now in our store we have a user that has all of these informations and the great thing about this like if i want to get the username or the picture of the user like i can go you know in any components in any page of our project and simply access the store and access the user and get any attributes i want and get the token everything so it's actually quite easy you know and the actions is gonna be like uh, you define what type of app action you want so when you work with the user to update you know something in the in the store for example when I update the the user you have like a, a define action so for example it's gonna be the the payload that we pass okay so that's gonna be this payload so this is the payload this is the action this payload that we pass to the store and something like let's say for example when it just pass false we can just, the action that we're going to pass is going to be false. So the payload is going to be false. Matter of two, zero, one, you know, any data or any type of data you want to pass. It's actually quite easy. And this is just an explanation, you know. So I know when I apply this thing and we work with it, it's going to be so simple, so easy. And I just don't get the fuss about it. Quite hard or something like this. So just don't worry. It's actually very, very simple. I want to set up Redux in our application. So simply, we're going to install some packages first. So in PMI and we're going to need Redux and also going to need React Redux. So this is going to work as a bridge and give us the provider. You're going to see later. And also we're going to have the div tools. So we're going to have Redux div tools extension. And they're going to help us ex display. Okay, sorry. Let's write straight here. Redux div tools extension. Okay. So this is give us the ability to display, you know, everything that we've done in the browser and we're going to see our state right there and we can see our changes live okay so i'm going to install these three tools or three packages and right here first of all we're going to need the ability to create store okay so we're going to need the functions that can help us create the store so we're going to import and we're going to import the create store function from redux so this way we're going to create our store using this function also we're going to need the provider that's going to get uh, they're going to we're going to put the store in the provider and cover our whole application with the provider the same way we done the same way we done with the router so we're going to see later so import and we're going to use the provider it's going to be from react okay react redux okay and also we're going to need to use the div tools so we're going to import and it's going to be compose with div tools and it's gonna give from redux div tools extension so we're gonna create a store so simply gonna have cons and we're gonna have a store we're gonna use the create store function and you're gonna pass the reducer to it so we're gonna have many reducers you can have as many as you want so we're gonna have a root reducer so that's gonna contain everything so root reducer we're gonna create this uh, after a little bit so the root reducer and then we're going to use the compose with div tools function to see this you know in the browser so now we're going to create the root reducer okay that kind of contain all of our reducers okay so simply we're going to take that we're going to go to the source folder we're going to create a new folder we're going to call it reducers and inside this we're going to have an index and here we're going to have our root reducer okay so right here we're going to have const it's going to be our root reducer and it's going to be compine 
reducers, which is a function which is gonna get from Redux. So we're gonna take this and I'm gonna write here import and then from Redux. Okay, and this is gonna help us create many reducers inside this reducer. So now, for example, when I create a reducer, let's call the state of it, it's gonna be user. Okay, and then you pass everything you want to pass like uh, the reducer itself. So, for example, user reducer, and we're gonna create the re user reducer also. So, before that, we're gonna export. So, we're gonna export default and it's gonna be root reducer. Okay, so now you can go back to the index and now this root reducer you can import it simply like this. Okay, so now we have the store, so we can now add it right here. So we're gonna you know our application is gonna be all inside the provider so right here we can have a provider okay and the provider let me as a components provider okay like this and the provider everything is gonna be inside the provider okay remove this from here and add this after the provider okay and in the, inside the provider, we're going to pass the store, which is going to be the global store that is going to cover all our applications. So everything inside our application can access the store from the provider. So the store that we're going to pass is simply going to be the store that we created right here that has the root reducers. This is the root reducer. Also, we're going to need the user reducer that has everything related to the user. Okay, so we're going to create the user reducer. So inside the reducer, we're going to plus and then we're going to have, let's call it the user reducer.js and inside this we're going to define the user, the user uh, reducer so export and it's going to be function and we're going to call it user reducer and inside this function we're going to have something so we're going to have the state and also we're going to have the action so this set is going to be the default set in the beginning it's going to be the default set in the beginning so in the beginning it's going to be null so you can define the state to be null and right here we're going to you know see the actions that we got and we're going to define the type of it so we're going to have switch and we're going to take the action the type okay and now we're going to understand something okay so right here we're going to have many cases so you define the action that you want to pass so for example when the user want to log in so this is going to be the case of login so all we want to return is the action dot p load okay like this okay so now we want to we want to when we log in we're going to dispatch an action that's going to be login and the payload we're going to return the action those payload so we're going to update this state with this payload and as it said in our example this is going to be the payload itself and we define the login so we know what we what type of operation that we making okay and in this which case you're going to also have the default and the default which is going to be return the simple normal state so this way we define the user a reducer also and we can go back right here and we can simply import it now if we went to the browser to our application so this is our application let's see what's the problem right here so imported as combined user was not found in redux okay so this is where well, this is this is going to be in the reducers okay so let's go back right here and this is the combined reducer is going to be like this okay so this is partial let's go back right here and we're going to refresh and everything is all right so now if we open the inspection elements and uh, right here we can go to the redux so you open this by using f12 okay and when we go right here we're going to find this tab redux and you want to access it by using this redux div tools in the google uh, chrome uh, extensions you're also going to have it in other browsers and you install this this is what we install and it's going to help us display our state in the browser so right here we're going to have another option that's called redux so we're going to access to it by using this okay I'm gonna install this and right here as you see now in the redux this is our state this is the default state you see we have the user so the user reducer is now here and you can you know look at it in different ways to understand where you're at and as you see this is the default state is gonna be null so right here as we define it if we went back to the user reducer it's null so for example you can add like something to it like welcome so this is our state it's a string that's called welcome and this is it so you can define like a state for it this is a default state and now when we dispatch the action login we're gonna change that to any type of one so right here this is the user null but as i said it's gonna have all of these informations right here so it's gonna be user and inside this is gonna be an object and has all of our informations while we log in okay and then we can access it all of our application so you can go to any route anything you're always gonna be accessible uh, in our application to all different components and pages and that's the beauty of the setup uh, of a, a global store that you can access by anyone okay so this was like pretty simple and i hope you like this and let's see what we have next